Hey everyone, this is J Dog, and I'm here with a disturbing video. Not disturbing. Um, well, it is disturbing, but not not me that I'm going to do something disturbing on this video. But what I'm about to talk about is very disturbing. And once again, we have Florida to bring us this uh, situation evolving guns their senate their state senate has just recently passed and barely no one is talking about it a couple of local media outlets might talk about it we know social media will talk about it at least some of us will but it's it's about Florida State Senate. They have passed a bill expanding armed teacher programs. Now, Florida is one of the most, is one of the few states that is extremely trigger happy. I mean, this is the same state that has that freaking stand your ground law, which unfortunately is really meant to make an excuse to kill black people. Look what happened to Trayvon Martin. Look what happened to that guy who was protecting his wife. And now they're giving teachers more power in the classrooms to carry a weapon. I mean, some of these teachers, that's not to mention that, that we've seen cases or news reports of how some of the teachers get frustrated they start attacking their students but now you're going to give them a weapon and some of these teachers are also known to be racist so once they get that weapon they can just sh shoot a black kid and then say they were defending themselves and stuff like that which is going to cause more black parents to want their kids to leave certain schools and go to other schools or finally get our community to build more of our own schools or home school. But here's a video that I'm going to play. I'm not even sure if I'm going to read much of this article. It's from... 7 News Miami, but this may explain more of the situation. It's from the Association Press. Alright. Hold on, maybe this might help. So, here, here's some kind of, um, yeah, here it is. Also on 7 this morning, arming teachers may soon become a reality after the Florida Senate approved a controversial school safety bill. 7's Rebecca Varga is live at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas in Parkland with more on what this Yeah, it's very controversial. Could mean for South Florida schools in the future, Rebecca. Yeah, it was a very controversial decision made yesterday. We did speak to some Stoneman Douglas parents who lost children in the shooting last year, and they do not believe that this is the right move. Allowing teachers to carry on campus, the state of Florida is now one step closer to making that happen. A bill passing in the Senate Tuesday, expanding a law that was passed last year after the Parkland shooting that originally allowed some school staff that did not work in classrooms to be armed. Oh, I think it's unacceptable. Parkland parent Fred Gutenberg, who lost his daughter Jamie in last year's tragedy, not happy with the measure that's moving forward. And he isn't the only one. The vast majority of the families that were affected by Parkland, meaning those of us who had children killed, were completely against this. If this ultimately goes into law, districts would first have to agree to participate. 
Broward School Board member Lori Al-Hadef, who lost her daughter, Alyssa, in the Parkland shooting, saying that would not happen in Broward. I know that this school board will not vote to arm teachers, so we won't have to worry about that here in Broward County. Teachers would also have to volunteer to be armed, be required to undergo psychological evaluations, and be trained by a sheriff's office. Over in Dade County, Superintendent Alberto Carvalho telling us last year he's against it. We should not at the highest levels of the land be creating more fear and anxiety and demand of our beloved teachers. They're there to inspire, to instruct, to lead, not to be armed with guns. That's reserved for law enforcement, period. But not everyone agreeing. I wish we had a law enforcement officer on every floor of every school. We do not and we cannot. Sponsor of the bill, Senator Manny Diaz, saying it's giving districts an option. The most contentious part of this bill in this chamber is completely optional. But it's one option many don't even want on the table. Listen, at the end of the day, we need to create layers and layers of protection. And arming teachers is not one of those layers of protection we need. You're now going to have teachers who will forget to put a gun away. You're now going to have teachers who will panic when they hear a noise and will pull a gun out. That's exactly right. They're right there. Yeah, they're going to be panicked. And then you also, one thing they're not talking about is the racial issue that will happen when it regards to teachers getting armed. You got some of these racist teachers that the minute the black person does something or think a black person is doing something, they're going to say, uh, it's a threat of my life. And then they just find a re an excuse to shoot at the, um, um, the, the student who happens to be black. So yeah, the one thing they're not talking about in this news report is the racial issue. That's what I'm really more concerned of is the racial issue that will come out of this and we it will not be good. And like he said, yeah, there are some, yeah, people who will panic and just take out that weapon and fire anyway just for any little thing. But I'm mostly concerned of the racial issue that will cause in schools. So there's more racial issues happening in schools when it comes to black kids failing, being bullied, uh, getting into fights, and dealing with law enforcement that happened to be at the schools. But now teachers being armed, that's going to make things worse. But I will continue on. they will pull a gun out. And I can tell you, there are many parents who I've spoken to today who don't want to send their kids to school next year. See, that's another thing that, especially most black student, um, the parents of black students most likely end up, are gonna end up doing anyway too, uh, is they're gonna try to find other schools, homeschool, build their own schools, hopefully. So, yeah, that's something that's also going to be talked about with this situation. Or just not go at the school, period, no matter what. But, yeah, I'll continue with this slide. Um. Now, this bill still needs to be approved by the House, and if it does, then it will head to the governor's desk. We're live this morning in Parkland, Rebecca Vargas, today in Florida. And I expect Florida would be the one to do such things. We know how they are when it comes to guns. I mean, yeah, Florida. They they even made a law where they're not even going to uh, tell any information about any mass shootings because they don't want to in, be embarrassed because they know who majority of the shooters are. We know, too. But, yeah, this is a sad day. So it's not fully law. Because they do have the, a, a state house or a state delegate that has to pass it before. And then, then the governor has to sign it. But most likely, I think it, it's going to end up being passed. And it's going to be a major, huge problem. But it's just sad enough that uh, Florida Senate has passed it. Uh, I, I, I just know it's going to, it's going to, something horrible is going to happen as a result of this. Um, if you want to read the article in your own time or look at the video in your own time, I'll leave a link to it 
in the, just both the description box and comment section. Speaking of the comment section, I really want to know what you think. Write down in the comment section what you think about this situation. Um, uh, make sure you share this video and this article because a lot of people need to talk about this. Notice it's not making mainstream headlines. Um, but that's all I have to say for now. Make sure you like the video. Um, share the video. Um, and that's all I have to say. This is J Dog. Thank you for watching. And I hope to catch y'all in another video. Peace, everyone.